So today we are going to discuss about the design of a combinational circuits. Uh, before going to the discussion uh, like designing of the combinational circuits, uh, in this lecture we will be covering how to design, what are the designing um, rules we are having to design a combinational circuits. Okay. Now first we will see what exactly a combinational circuit is. So the combinational circuit what it defines is the output of a circuit at any instant of the time depends only on the levels present at input terminals that means my output always depends upon the present inputs it never depends upon the previous values that is what a, a combinational circuit is a combinational circuit does not use any memory cell the previous state of input does not have any effect on the present state of the circuit so my output is purely dependent upon the present inputs only it is not having any memory so if I add, uh, if I want to have some output, uh, if, suppose if I change the input values, automatically it will be affecting the output value. A combinational circuit can have a n number of inputs and m number of outputs. So the inputs and outputs are not limited. So if you have 10 number of inputs, it doesn't mean that we need to have 10 outputs. It may have 1, 2, 3, etc. So we are not giving any restriction for my uh, number of inputs and outputs. Only the thing is, the output always depends upon the present inputs. Now, if you see the examples of uh, combinational circuits, we have lot many examples. So, we will discuss these examples in the next lectures. But if you see here, the combinational circuit examples are adders, subtractors, multiplexes, demultiplexes, encoders, decoders, and uh, comparators. These are the a few examples what we have for your combinational circuits and now as I said that we are going to uh, design the combinational circuit and now the designing of combinational circuit what it says is we are having some rules and regulations for designing a combinational circuit now let us see the uh, designing rules or the procedure for your combinational circuit now if you see here the designing procedure for combinational logic circuit starts with a problem specification and comprising the following steps. So, problem specification means whenever I want to design a circuit, I need some specifications to design the circuit. What are the specifications we are giving? Based on that, we will be designing the circuit. So, here, determine the required number of inputs and outputs from the given specifications. First rule is we need to uh, identify the number of inputs and outputs from the given specifications. Next, uh, we need to derive the truth table. De derive the truth table for a given for each of the outputs based on their relationships to the inputs. So, we need to derive the uh, truth table for the given inputs based on the definition or specifications whatever we have given. Now, after getting the truth table, then draw the block diagram once the block diagram is done then simplify the boolean expression for each output now from the truth table whatever the output you are having from that output column i can get one boolean function that boolean function can be simplified using your k maps or boolean algebra so we will be using the k maps uh, for our convenience because the k maps or is the easiest method to simplify the given boolean function or a boolean expression now after simplification whatever the boolean expression we are getting for that i am going to draw the logic diagram that represents the simplified boolean expression so what i am doing here first defining the number of inputs and outputs based on your specifications uh, from the specifications i am getting a truth table for each output based on the relationship whatever we are giving um, from that I will be drawing a block diagram with specifying the inputs and outputs and from the truth table I will be writing the boolean expression for each output and then I will be simplifying it uh, simplifying the boolean expression using the k maps then afterwards drawing the logic diagram that represents the simplified boolean expression whatever you have simplified using the k maps so this is how we will be designing each and every combinational circuit and uh, we will be uh, 
uh, finally getting the logic circuit uh, that what we call as a combinational circuit for a given uh, given uh, problem specifications thank you for uh, uh, watching this video so we'll uh, see how to design a combinational circuits in the next lecture thank you very much